Hello there. I'm Claire, I'm your host, and today we're back with another Heritage Moment. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the things most closely associated with church and church architecture, stained glass, specifically stained glass windows. So, first and foremost... According to Wikipedia, stained glass is, quote, colored glass as a material and any works created from it. So think an umbrella term for any colored glass or a project containing colored glass. The process of creating stained glass is long, detailed, painstaking, and I will not be explaining it to you. That would take forever. Besides, I'm no stained glasser. Stained glasser? Hold on. I'm no stained glass artist. That's boring. The process of staining glass has existed since ancient Egyptian and Roman civilizations, who both excelled at creating products out of colored glass. The stained glass window itself has existed in places like Britain since about the 7th century, and the oldest stained glass window in the world can actually be found at the Monqueermouth Jarrow Abbey, found in Jarrow, 600 AD. Stained glass reached the height of its European popularity in the Middle Ages, when it became a useful way of communicating biblical stories to the general population, who were illiterate almost without exception. This is why most stained glass windows convey a story of some sort as part of their design, and why multiple windows in a row may convey the same story. This period also included the development of new architectural styles, which in turn influenced the development of the windows themselves. Stained glass underwent a renaissance in the 15th century, until Henry VIII and Thomas Cromwell's intervention in the monasteries and other religious groups in the mid-1500s. This resulted in the destruction of hundreds of medieval and renaissance windows, being smashed in a bid to get rid of objects which were being venerated. Few of these medieval windows are still in place in buildings in Europe. However, where there is loss, there is always revival. The original method of staining glass was rediscovered in the 19th century, and artists relearned the craft in Britain, France, and Germany in particular. This was also the time that stained glass production began in the United States. Stained glass innovation continued into the 20th and 21st century, although nowadays, since the production of large colored windows is highly difficult and specialized work, new windows do not get put in often. So there you have it. The briefest history of this millennia's old art that I can manage. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more about the stained glass at the cathedral, we are going to have two more videos up with more information for you. The first will be a more detailed look at some specific stained glass artists and companies that have made work that's on the walls of our cathedral. And the second will be a much more detailed look at the two biggest windows um, in our church, the east and west window, tree of the church and the Deum. Have a great day and thanks for watching.